All right, y'all. Hopefully y'all blessed. Hopefully y'all amazing. Hopefully y'all great. We going to get into this deletion letter, uh, deletion template. So with every template that we sell, we always let you know that results may vary. You want to remix it to your own situation and that's how it'll best be used, right? So as I go through it, you can just kind of screenshot. I'm not going to actually like give you the exact, like the download or whatever, but um, yeah, just, just screenshot it and do what you got to do with it. I just wanted to show y'all just because, you know, I want to thank y'all for actually investing in the course. I talked about the elements in the ebook, but, you know, just seeing it is different from actually um, just reading about it too. And I know like, if you're my mentorship, my mentees, my mentees is probably going to hate me for sharing this information with y'all. But this is the exact letter that we use to consistently get late payments deleted. So I hope that y'all are really paying attention as we go through this letter. So yeah, let's let's get it. So you see the name and the address, name, address, your address or your client's address, and you're going to put the date. Specifically for this late payment letter, one of the tactics we do is we backdate it by 60 days. And we do a CFPB complaint too to help facilitate a faster FCRA violation. So that's just one of the one of the complexities um, and things that you can do to actually use different techniques to get that deletion. And like I said, this is a, an exact letter that I've given to my mentees. So my mentees and my mentorship. So you know they got the sauce. They paid good money to be in a mentorship. So definitely be be grateful that I'm sharing this letter with you. And for an example. We put TransUnion, so TransUnion, and then we put their address. So I'm um, basically the same elements that I discussed in the ebook. You can pull out your ebook right now, and then just go through. Am I including these elements? I'm including all the elements, so you see like what we're talking about. What I was talking about in the ebook is what we're actually sending out. So then you start the letter to whom it may concern. I received a copy. So explain what happened. I received a copy of my Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion credit reports, and noticed. Remember, this is a late payment letter. Late payment that needs to be deleted is as follows. And then you put the name, creditor name, account number, et cetera, right? Assuming you're doing late payments. And then you let them know. Your agency has violated my consumer rights and violated federal law. I have proof in 15 U.S.C. 1681B number two of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is noted below. So then we quote the law, like I said, on in the ebook. So I said that, and then I said, like, the law clearly states, and then I quoted 1681B number two. I told y'all, the permissible purposes section, it's one of those powerful laws. It's one of the go-to laws, right, in accordance with the written instruction of the consumer to whom it, relate, it relates. You can go back and read on your own time. You know what 1681B number two is if you went through the ebook. So I did not give your agency written authorization or written instructions to report this information. So they weren't supposed to, right? So we're letting them know what happened. You have not, so we're going to explain how. You have not only violated a Fair Credit Reporting Act, but your agency has committed aggravated identity theft. That's uh, 18 U.S.C. 1026A. So if you go look at that, um, identity theft, and I've sustained defamation of my character, just to name a couple damages. Should this matter escalate to court? So we're basically letting them know, y'all better delete those items because we could we could go there. We can go to We can go through litigation if it has to, right? So, you know, apply that pressure. Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion has violated my consumer rights as well, which is uh, noted below, right? So, um, okay, so this is actually supposed to be sub substituted with the creditor, but, you know, just put the creditor name or whatever. And 15 U.S.C. 1666B, timing of payments. So this is a different law. It's not in the FCRA, but, you know, it's it's, it's like a more advanced tactic. When it comes to deleting those late payments is powerful and it's what's been powerful for us so time to make payments a creditor may not treat a payment on a credit card account under an open-end consumer credit plan late for any purpose right so we quoted the law right there this reported information is not only a violation of federal law but just like your agency they have damaged me in the form of defamation of my character and have committed aggravated identity theft because i didn't give them written permission to report this information which is a violation of 15 usc 1666b i'm demanding you to delete the above late payments from my consumer report remember i told y'all talk to them like they're babies if a baby is acting bad aren't you going to tell the baby like aren't you going to instruct the baby stop doing that right so we're demanding them what we want them to do and then furthermore 
You got 14 days to respond upon receiving this letter to delete the reference items and send me a new letter notifying me that the information has been deleted from all consumer reporting agencies and also mail me a new copy of my report or I will be seeking legal action against your agency for these damages. So you let them know that. You can also um, you can also let them know based off of 15 U.S.C. 1681 I, A1A, that it has to be deleted before an investigation is completed, as we discussed in the previous video. You can put best regards to your name. You could put in close copy of ID as proof of address. It's up to you. Because a lot of times what they will do is they'll do stalling tactics to where they'll be like, oh, we don't know if a uh, credit repair company is sending this or if you're sending this. And I have to like ver ver verify that it's you. So, yeah, I just wanted to walk through that. You know, take your screenshots do what you got to do. And good luck. Hopefully you enjoyed the course. Hopefully it helps you. Let me know as you're getting items deleted, your late payments, collections, inquiries, all of that. Charge off. So, yeah, with that being said, y'all have a blessed one.